Okay, this video just uh, aims to show you my first real project in Verilog. Um, so here you see a Spartan 3E development board um, with uh, a JTAG programmer, a DC power and um, uh, a VGA monitor out. And um, it's going to show you a Pong game that I, that I wrote uh, based on some of the code from FPGA for fun. Um, and uh, try and show you some of the features that I've added to it as well. So first of all, we'll fire up the uh, FPGA board. Okay, I've got 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 some of the uh, um, LEDs here for diagnostics. So I've got the direction and rotation uh, from the rotary encoder, which I use to move the paddle, um, and uh, also the various collision um, lights, so I know if the ball's colliding with with the various sides of the the square and also um, a couple of LEDs there to indicate the ball direction as well um, just to use with debugging and obviously you've got the power light, the uh, JTAG light and the um, FPGA loaded light as well so fingers are all crossed um, if we take a look at the, uh, the monitor now this is the one I'm using for uh, for the game, the game's actually paused at the moment um, the first light switch uh, will unpause the game and you see the ball start to move. The uh, paddle's controlled with the rotary um, encoder, so you can see there that uh, the game performs as expected. So that's that's basically the the basics of the pong game running. Um, I decided to carry on with the project that's got a working test bed and you know kind of build on this. So the second thing I uh, I added was the uh, um, ability to run the game a little faster so uh, and put in an extra thing, this is hard to maintain um, with the camera as well <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see that it works reasonably well the next thing I decided to do was to uh, um, add a little colour so I'll just leave the game for a minute and switch that so yeah, adding some colour to the green. The, the, the border changes to yellow. I don't know if you can see that too well. Uh, the the the, uh, the board obviously changes blue, and the paddle changes to red. And these are all options settable on the uh, switches. So monochrome and colour, uh, fast and slow. And finally, the last thing I added was an auto um, option. So uh, you can select the game to uh, to play itself, um, with obviously any of the other options. And you can pause at any point as well, just by flicking the toggle switches. So uh, I'll show you back down here, show some of the LEDs. So the the the, the rightmost four are just showing collision. Um, Pause the game a second there is a good point. So these two LEDs now flicker in show the rotator. Uh, it's in the persistence of the camera is not going to work too well, but they show the rotation control. You can see if you slow go slowly, you can see that it's uh, putting the raw data there uh, for debugging purposes. This then runs out, runs the game. You can then see that the other LEDs are uh, flickering away as well. So yeah, that, that, that's that, and uh, should have um, should have the source code up for it on my website shortly um, for anybody that's interested. Um, yeah, that concludes the video anyway. Thanks for watching.